Our extreme weather specialist, meteorologist Chris Higgins, who did most of the heavy lifting in the Woods Basement System Storm Runner. Hey, Chris. I see what you did there, Glenn. I see <laughs> what you did. Yeah, we're out here <laughs> with the Woods Basement System Storm Runner. All kidding aside, it's pretty crazy what tornadoes can pick up. And one of the half dozen or so likely tornadoes that touched down today lifted this debris off the ground. This is Prairie Town, a farmstead south of Prairie Town in Illinois, and this is the damage. This is part of a cinder block. This is some of the shingles from the roof of a home and a farm here, and you can see the cinder blocks from that home blown over. This used to be a storage shed. This used to be behind that a barn that stood since the 1950s. It has largely been destroyed along with six other structures that are on this farm about a mile or so south of Prairie Town. In the distance over here, Wyatt, show them the, uh, the propane tank. When we arrived on the scene, we talked with uh, one of the owners and they said they had to rush and get these things turned off because one of them had been rolled and cut open. They got it turned off. There's no concerns with that right now. Take a look at the video. As these storms came rolling through southern Illinois, they not only produced tremendous winds, they produced tremendous lightning, lightning that lit up the sky both in front of the storm and behind the storm. But under the storm, it was these fast hitting, rather small but potent tornadoes that developed as the storms fueled off the rich moisture laden air that was waiting for them over in southern Illinois. Now we talked to uh, one of the owners, uh, Leona Goebbels, whose family has owned this farm or been associated with this farm for nearly 100 years. She's talked to us. Here's what she has to say about tonight's tornado damage. I think it's it's taken about six buildings. I had no idea what was really going on, but we were watching TV. I just said, oh my God, I was glad my daughter was not home. Her daughter was not home. In fact, there are only people, or not even people who were home, were their six cats, and they are all accounted for. In fact, one of them came out from underneath the rubble while we were doing that interview about an hour or so ago. We're live on the scene of the damage, and you can see this barn. Again, this is one that was built back in the 1950s. Back there in the distance, that gray thing, that's actually the uh, power meter. Power is out, as you might imagine, south of Prairie Town. Reporting live with the Woods Basement System Storm Runner, I'm Extreme Weather Specialist Chris Higgins.